been trying to learn more about the characters and stuff like that. Hopefully it shows in my commentary. So it looks like Sneaky and Mike Kirby are going to be on the P1 side, if you will. We'll see how the teams work out. So this should be a nice one. Looks like DJP and Mike Kirby, or excuse me, Snakey and Mike Kirby are the red team. I will figure it out afterwards. I'll just let them pick. Either way, this is going to be a fun match. I'm excited to see what happens. Yeah, come on, Elijah, come on in. So it looks like we're going to have the team of Elijah and J-Ribs joining us here in the booth. So give me a second, guys. We're going to plug them up and enjoy the commentary, everyone. I will see you in the chat once they are set up here. What up, Spooky Chat? What's good, Spooky Chat? What's going on, fellas? Enjoy the matches, guys. Have fun. All right, so we got winners uh, semifinals right here. Ness, Dr. Eggplant. We got Sneaky. Sneaky was using Rosa, right? Or did I see a Diddy? I think I saw a Diddy. Possibly. He, he might go Palutena. All right, so we know we got Mike Kirby using Kirby. And then, yeah, I, th I think Sneaky's Palutena. So yeah. that's one team. An Eggplant, Ness, and his teammate. His teammate is using Diddy Kong. Okay, so Jake is on Smashville. And once again, starting off on Smashville. Now, how do you think this team is actually like uh, Palutena and Kirby? I've never actually seen it. Uh, two very versatile characters. Uh, a lot of kill power, combo potential. Uh, great recovery from both of them. Custom Palutena has one of the best recoveries in the game. Uh, Ooh, nice jump glide. Nice drink from uh, my Kirby. So it looks like Kirby's gonna just play very defensive in this match. Palutena is gonna be the one going on the back. Yeah, her customs, her jumps, everything. She's really, she's really crazy. And I know my Kirby likes to fight by the ledge, so he's not gonna be afraid to just take a 1v1 by the ledge while Snakey holds his side of the map and fights his 1v1. Yeah. Right now, this is anyone's game. Uh, Blue team definitely with the life lead by 30% character. I'll say that super speed right now. See what she does with that. And nice punish for Dr. Ev playing on that Kirby back throw. And that's playing. a team kill? Yeah, that was a team kill right there. And that's up air. So strong. Such a big hitbox. Got to watch out where you throw it. Yes. Oh, nice. F smash from DJP to kill Mike Snakey Kirby. Snakey misses the team combo. He wanted the combo out of that Mike Kirby back throw. Wow. Eggplant going with a greedy oh, nice. down here. Up there from Snakey. Snakey's still on his third stock. He's still on his first stock. Ooh. Oh, right into curse. a nest forward smash. And this is an even game right now. All four players on their second, second stock. stock. Pretty healthy. And Mike Kirby gets his ledge guard. Now he's going to play safe. As I said before, he likes to hold the ledge. Do that rapid jab. Very smart. And this is in a bad situation right now. When you have Mike Kirby at the ledge, back air, you know, it's really difficult. And you can kind of tell Snakey and Mike Kirby haven't teamed together much because they're not really playing off of each other. They've been playing off of their own individual skill and their ability to hold 1v1. I agree. Eggplant trying to get this ledge card on Mike Kirby. And that's going to be an SD for Eggplant. Definitely going off stage, trying to do a lot against it. Nice Kirby. Up smash. That's a good idea. Up smash from uh, my Kirby. Yeah. Looks like the red team, uh, blue team has a lead right now. They're pulling away a little bit here. My Kirby definitely at kill percent at 100% being a light character, but uh, Palutena at 90, not too healthy either. Well, since you're a Ness player, what would you be looking for in the, like right about now? Would On you be either for a back throw, the back throw or an up air should be able to kill for Ness. Um, I definitely wouldn't be wanting to get a kill like that. Not worth the trade. 
now it's a 1v3 situation. Mike Kirby still having another stock on reserve. As I said before, they're not too used to teaming, or else we'd see a lot more team combos right now. Yeah, they're playing off of their own uh, individual skill. And actually, basic follow-ups, nothing too special. Wants that up, wants that up smash. I like those jab locks by uh, Snakey, just doing jab one, reset, jab one, reset, instead of doing the rapid jab. Yes. And that's going to be game one. Mike Kirby taking it with a rage forward smash for Kirby. This is winner semifinal, so it's going to be a best, of, best out of three, first to two. Mike Kirby and Snakey taking that first game pretty convincingly. Let's see what bands. Now, being, like I said, being Ness, what would you, what would you tell your teammate right about now? Like, what would you, what stage would you want to ban against Mike Kirby and Snakey? Or, you know, what stage would you want to play? Uh, I know Mike Kirby, uh, well, they, they get to, Mike Kirby and Snakey get to ban one map. So it's going to be Red Team's counter pick. Depending on what map is banned, I'll probably see them just go to maybe Battlefield or Town and City. Ness does thrive off of platforms. Uh, with that up air being so fast and such a good uh, sharking tool. That's not what. Now we're seeing uh, the Diddy Kong player Kong. switch to Donkey Kong. Oh, we got a custom DK. We got a custom DK in this match. Pretty much the, our team right there. Yeah, this might be what we're going to see in Winners Finals right now. The same exact match right here. <laughs> the and player's still thinking of uh, what stages they want to go to. Uh, we got a nice little eight, eight team doubles bracket going on just so people can warm up their fingers for the 1v1s later. Yeah, me usually, I don't really enter uh, customs, but you know what? I just decided just to come through and have fun. Yeah, thanks for coming to try it out, man. Definitely, Appreciate it. Definitely, no doubt. Okay, now that they know what map they're going to or what stage they're going to, uh, let's see if they s decide to switch their characters. We might get some custom switches. DJP checking out his different choices for the DK custom. DK's customs being so good, he has very different, a, a lot of different viable choices for competitive play. A lot of characters have one or two good custom moves that a lot of players will use, but some characters like DK have an array of choices depending on the matchup. You have a punch that has a win box, good for characters that are very floaty and that don't have uh, good recoveries. There's an up B that has a win box that's oh, yeah. ridiculous. Well, that that's one of the customs where you're going to see most DKs use yes, hands down. No other, uh, no other up B custom. Well, where it comes for side B, down B, uh, and neutral B, you have B, some choices. Jumping. We, got, we see a lot of jumping. And uh, down B, either fi fire or regular. Fire is uh, being a good uh, good option, but game two on Delfino. So this goes. As you can see, Donkey Kong already opted for that up here. That's the right plan. Let's get his follow up there. Well, it was a nice dash attack to break up uh, the combo from Snakey. Palutena's dash attack being so good because of the armor it has on the shield. Just like her back air. That oh. shield is incredible. The players need to get on the ground. Nice team combo. Kirby up throw to Palutena in neutral air. She follows up with an up air after, and already we're seeing Donkey Kong at 127%. Not good. He's a big hitbox, but, you know, DJP needs to play a little bit slower. And he has to get those landings, the lagless landings. He needs those. And Snakey oh, utilizing that mobility that uh, Palutena has with a super speed. Able to follow up in the air with crazy, crazy angles. Neutral air to up air, killing so early with a Palutena because she dragged you up with the up air. DJP and Eggplant really need to work together. Both of them are separated. Snakey and uh, Mike Kirby are doing a good job separating these two players. Nice pummels for Mike Kirby. Instead of getting, using the throw, he just keeps pummeling. And that way he kept himself safe from the, the, enemy, the enemy's teammate trying to follow up on the Kirby throw. This time he's going to do the up throw and it's going to land on the platform. Mike Kirby getting that up throw kill. That was a nice fly under to up air from, uh, oh, was that his name? I think it was an up air from, uh, Snakey. Now blue team up the stock. So pretty much, oh, it looks like Snakey's trying to set it up. Oh, man, DJP just missing the up smash. 
Looks like Sneaky was trying to set up uh, Donkey Kong for um, her, uh, I think it's her neutral V. Ooh, DJP. Nice kill on Mike Kirby. That's his first stock. These players have a, a long road ahead of them if they're going to try to win this match. They need to get rid of uh, Snakey. Palutena still on her first stock at 100%. She can survive a few more hits. Wow, and that rage up. Yeah, rage up air killing a Donkey Kong at 120. Definitely helps that Delfino's last ones are smaller. And it was transforming. So unfortunate for DJP. He's down to his last stock. Snake is still on his first. Eggplant's fighting a 1v1. DJP should go help his teammate. And wow, Mike Kirby with a down air to back air combo. Killing on the edge of the screen. Mike Kirby has a, a lot of tricks with Kirby. Very good Kirby play. DJP opting to go for up smash. Looks like Snakey's trying to finish. Trying to finish DK. Snakey's just all over the place. Yes, he is. Oh there my goodness. Is. Nair to up air, covering the whole screen pretty much. That custom oh Palutena is troublesome. Oh man, these guys are. Now they're going. Looks like they're going for team combo now. Oh my goodness. Oh, and the team Snakey taking out. <laughs> Take it out, Mike Kirby. It's not gonna matter. Snakey still with all three stocks. Yeah. Eggplant has his hands full right now. Yes, he does. These guys are playing with their lunch right now. Ooh, nice, nice falling up there from Dr. Eggplant. No three stocks for Snakey. No three stocks. We don't get things. Are we gonna see a punish here? Are we gonna see? Are we? Are we gonna see it? No, we're not. Oh man, Dr. Eggplant needs to get on the island. Nice hit on uh, Mike Kirby. Wow, nice combo up there to, to Kirby up e. So that's going to be 2 0 Mike Kirby and Snaking uh, advancing to winner's finals. So I guess we're up against them. Yeah, I believe you guys are just going to play the winner's finals next. Okay. Cool. Thanks for letting us commentate, Swoopy. It's always a pleasure to have you guys. Of course. Especially you, Rips. I see you all the time now. You've been to almost every Smash Attack, right? I try to come through, yeah. <laughs> I live in Brooklyn, and uh, even when I have work, I'll try to come through uh, for the 6 p.m. bracket. But, uh, yeah, I guess uh, we're going to go ahead and play our winner finals match. Oh, well, well, wait till they announce it. But, um... Well, actually, they might do a losers match, so yeah, you guys get to chill match. for a while. They're cool. Chill. Hey, everyone in the chat, thanks for tuning in. If you didn't know, this is the uh, custom doubles 2v2. Smash Attack only, 7. Only, only about two or three matches left. And uh, then we're going to move on at 5 or 6 p.m. We're going to be doing custom 1v1 bracket. Uh, the buzz isn't here yet, but he has won back to back to back. And if you include the 16 player tournament and the, uh, the two tournaments before that that had it's a custom and a non custom bracket, the buzz is about 6 peat, 5 peat right now in 1v1s here at Smash Attack. Yeah, man, the buzz is a problem. My kid is really smart, very smart player, very patient. He knows he knows his bread and butters. He doesn't drop his bread and butters, and you know he's very consistent. And unfortunately, IQHQ Vinny and Will aren't going to be able to make it out tonight. Uh, you know, Vinny said he has uh, Mother's Day and a lot of school stuff he has to get uh, get done today. No, it's Mother's Day. I mean, okay. But um, we don't know what match is coming up next. But I mean, I'm just. It sounds like uh, here. I'll bring up the bracket for you guys. Hold on. So it sounds like it's going to be, um, yeah, it sounds like it's going to be this match, the Rapture and Bandit versus DJP and Dr. Eggplant. Okay. Oh, wow, that's early. So, okay, so losers somehow. Round one losers, yeah. I guess these didn't get played out while we were all playing. Okay. Somehow DJP and Egg Eggplant going from winners semifinals to losers round one. Wait, sure that doesn't even make sense, right? No. They were here, right? Yeah. Oh, this is backward. That's why. Did someone put this in a bracket wrong? Is that the problem? Possibly. Hey, hold on. Uh, Dakota, the bracket's not updated right. <laughs> I'll, actually, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. DJP and Dr. Eggplant won the first round, right? No, that, that's Mike that, Kirby and Snakey. That's who they just played. That was in round two. Right? I mean, in round two. Mm -hmm. Oh, was that round one? Was that, was that Mike Kirby? Am I the one that's confused? Was that Mike Kirby and Snakey's first game? Oh, is it correct? Okay, I'm just making sure that I'm not confused. This, oh, this has not happened. Okay, that's the problem. Okay, okay so I see. So I was the one that was confused. Oh, that's that what happened. That was that first game. So that wasn't winner's semis. That was actually winner's round one, which is 
in turn winners quarterfinals because there's only eight teams. Right. So uh, this is actually loses round one. So we're gonna see Doctor Eggplant again with Custom Nest DJP. Either yeah, going DK or Diddy. <laughs> one of the two. One of the DKs. And then we got Rapture who plays an array of characters. More than likely we're gonna see either a Little Mac or a Mario mm -hmm. out of Rapture. Either one of them pretty good in doubles. Mr. Splatoon himself. <laughs> The face of Splatoon. The voice. The voice of Splatoon. Dakota, a.k.a. The Rapture. And is that Sneaky's brother? Uh, yes, it is. Bandit is Sneaky's brother. Cool. And is Bandit, isn't Bandit the Nest player as well? Say again? Isn't Bandit a Nest player as well? I believe so. I'm not sure. I played yeah. against him, but uh, yeah, he is. When I played him, he was playing Nest. So. Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah, we're seeing plenty of nests today. We had three nests earlier. I'm using nests in my matches. And now we got Bandit versus Dr. Eggplant's nest. 